money, or friendship? Which is more valuable? Well, lucky for you, you don't have to decide because you don't get any of them. That's right, I just finished Tomodachi Game and it was pretty good. This video does contain small spoilers for Tomodachi Game, so be aware of that if you haven't seen the anime yet. Wow, I can't believe that Zoro was the traitor. I really suspected Buggy the whole time. Anyways, as usual, it's up to me to change the name of this anime to something a bit more realistic. Is it wrong to pick up girls in Tomodachi games? Trustful, the anime. Squid Game, all right, fine, I won't say it. And finally, Among Us. If you wanna have friends better than the people in this anime, be sure to join my Discord server and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more mediocre content. Let me give you a quick synopsis of this anime. These are friends, and they are... <laughs> Oh, you just wait. So, there's a big school trip coming up, and each student paid $700 to go on... Wait, I'm sorry, $700? Are they going on a field trip to space? Anyway, so they collect $20,000 for their school trip, and they made a small little oopsie and let it all get stolen. So that sucks and all, but don't worry. My man gets a letter in the mail, and let me just change one small detail. There we go. It says that his friend wants to meet up with him. But what's this? Everyone else got a similar letter. You fell for it, pussy fart. Hey, who turned out the lights? Finally awake. They're brought to this place that I have definitely never seen on any other cultured animes and told that this is the friend games. And they need to play to get their money back. And I know what you're thinking. What money? Well, you see, out of the five of them, there's an imposter among us. And one of them finessed the $20,000 for the school trip so that they could go play Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory Simulator. I mean, I couldn't imagine if all of me and my friends were dropped in a situation like this. Hey, where is everybody? Um, yeah, so slight problem. You didn't have any friends available to play the games with, so, um... Oh, they must have all been busy. Sure. So, do I get paid now or later? But this game is so easy to beat. Just trust your friends, lol. Sure, they may be crazy, but, um, at least the main character's a nice guy. Every time I open my mouth! They play many games, and you get to follow along their journey to see if you can out Watson, Sherlock Holmes over there. As they play these games, you spend most of your time trying to guess which one the bad person is. And every single time you think you get close, they drop a backstory on you and make you feel like the bad guy for calling them evil. I mean, I had to constantly change my notes when watching this anime because I was like, oh yeah, that guy sucks. Huh? What's up with his backstory? I hear your voice. He did nothing wrong. Not to mention that our antagonist protagonist has to face one big problem. Having too many women after him to keep track of. Very relatable. You would think that they're playing the dating game instead. This causes many fights that slowly begins to break apart their friendship. Boom. Roasted. I mean, they may as well kiss and make up already. W what? Not them. These games are being watched by the waifus upstairs and an audience of, I think, middle school girls, judging by the messages that were sent in. You're drug along this whole journey just to find out what the whole game is about, which you won't figure out for many years because you have to wait for the next season. Just read the- No, don't tell me to read the manga. Now, let's talk about the characters in this anime, starting off with the goat of goats, the one who stands above all others in this anime. Manabu, the man who is here for all the drama. And while I would compare him to the doll from Squid Games, I don't wish to incur the wrath of the manga readers who will say, actually, Tomodachi game came out before Squid Games. This man is the overseer of the games and you really thought Johnny Sins has done a bunch of jobs? This man has done even more, which include being a teacher, serving our country, and many, many more in the manga. Not to mention when somebody else is crying, he just starts emoting on them. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. It's time to break out the tier list, and we're starting strong because this man will be going in the greatest of anime time tier. Next, we have L's cousin himself, Yuichi. And while the other people in this anime are playing chess, he's playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I mean, you may as well play L's theme song whenever he's on screen because you already know that he's gonna outplay everyone. And it looks like I can mark OP protagonist off my bingo board for the video. And I think that his mom is from Fairy Tale because she teaches him that the power of friendship solves everything. Well, mom, can the power of friendship get rid of cancer? But you can't have anything but respect for this man because maybe. If you can't throw a woman off a cliff, can you truly call yourself a feminist? I will put this man in the power of friendship tier. The man who spent half the anime chilling in a cave. This is Tenji, and um, he's a stalker, but not in a weird way. Wow, I never thought I would say that. But I was always there. 
this was one of those characters that I changed my opinion on throughout the anime. I mean, my first note that I wrote down was that he was Leorio's stupid cousin. But by the end of the anime, he really began to grow on me. Let's see what he's up to right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting some raw hand-holding action in. Never mind. You will go and stalk her, dear. Mom, look, it's the character who gets less screen time than the mascot. Makoto is the character who has money. Kind of. He's probably the character who has the least amount of screen time out of the main cast. So, I really don't have much to say. Which is why you will go and meh tier. Yutori, and I swear, this woman was playing Crying Simulator the entire anime. Yutori, did you drop your food on the ground? Oh my god, she's crying again. Not to mention that it says in her description that she likes anime. What a loser. Imagine being a weeb. But I can mark it off my bingo board. Cry baby tier. And the final of the failing friendship five. She Ho, the character who is probably surrounded by the most mystery of the show. And just like every other character on the show, she has a crush on Yuichi, and every guy on the show has a crush on her. But that is the curse of having long hair in anime. Yutori, take some notes. Best girl tier, psych enjoy your stay in the mat tier. The real best girls of the show, the observer duo. Maria, the girl who actually shows up in one of the games and uses her feminine charm to influence it. And when I say using her charm, I mean getting pushed off a cliff. And how could you forget about the other half of their dynamic duo, Tsukino. But how did these girls win best girl award? I don't know, I didn't exactly have much to work with. It was either this or the crybaby and a girl I don't trust. This anime is also a crossover because the boys from Kuroko's basketball make an appearance. Man tier, all of them. But at least I can mark off crossover. And it looks like I won a free trip to Grace Fieldhouse. And it says here that they have the best livestock. Huh, sounds fun. Time for final thoughts and rating the anime. If you've been to my channel, it should come as no surprise that I love big brain animes. This anime had so many plot twists that really left me curious while still having very entertaining games to watch. I think that the cast was enjoyable and the story of how well a friendship can stay together if everyone found out your darkest secrets was great. However, this anime in my opinion is honestly just kind of predictable. I've seen so many animes that basically do the same thing, like Classroom of the Elite. The stakes in this anime are so high so they can't exactly lose and go home. They're always gonna win regardless of what happens. Also, everybody loved the main character, but he kind of just reminded me of other main characters in big brain animes. They always have a plan for the end and always have some crazy backstory, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he was still a great character. Not to mention that I really didn't like the last episode that much. My anime list gave this anime a score of 7.6 out of 10, but I think that I would give it an 8.4 out of 10. Oh no, I forgot I left Tenji in the cave. <laughs> Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you want to see my channel. Click over here if you want to see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.